What are those numbers called at the bottom again? Good, don't forget to add those partial products. When students return to class at Colony Oak Elementary School in the fall of 2020, things looked different. Together. Masks no. were required for older students, sanitation was heightened, and the big kid play sets, which were once the highlight of the day for so many children, were closed down. I mean, it's a year of change. We've changed a, a few times this year with different ways we're going. There's pros and cons to everything, and we just look at the pros, and when you see those smiling faces, it makes it all worth it. Another change? These classrooms will have two teachers all year, instead of just one. And you just gave me something called verbs. Everyone say verbs. Ripon Unified School District signed up to have several teacher residents. Residents are students who are earning a teaching credential while studying under a master teacher. It's part of a program offered by the Teachers College at San Joaquin County Office of Education. Teacher residency programs are often modeled after um, doctor residency or medical residency programs. So teachers go in and they get to work with master teachers and see um, every part of their practice. Residents get to see an entire year um, at a school site. They get to see the beginning of the school site or the beginning of the school year all the way until the end of the school year. They really get yep, to learn the students, the environment, the curriculum, um, each one of those aspects which are so key to teaching. They attend faculty meetings, they attend open houses, back to school night, everything a regular teacher would do. So there are no surprises about what it's going to be to be a teacher when they're done. At least a dozen districts around California participate in teacher residencies. Experts see residencies as a way to boost the number of teachers in the classroom amid a major teacher shortage. In the state of California, we know that 80 percent of the school districts are having a difficult time either attracting qualified teachers, finding qualified teachers, and having open positions. Um, fortunately, we have not had that experience yet. But we know that in the next decade, um, a study has shown that we're going to need at least 100,000 teachers. So we're all going to be looking to get the brightest and the best for every single school district. And so this is a way that we can already have a pipeline to hire teachers in our school district. You would be in every book and every newspaper and every magazine. Elizabeth Aguiniga is a teaching resident who hopes to get hired by Ripon Unified when her residency year is up. She says she wants to become a teacher to make a difference in kids' lives. Elizabeth has been getting a first row seat to the profession, even though the school year started out remotely. So at the beginning, it's more observation, um, taking notes of how my teacher is guiding the class. And because we were on Zoom, it was a little different. And now it's progressing more where I'm co-teaching with her, we're interacting, we're bouncing off on each other's ideas, we're planning together, we're doing lesson planning as well. And as the year progresses, it's going to be um, solo teaching and just she's going to apply gradual release. At the rate she's progressing, she'll be able to take over the class and make it her own for those, you know, last few weeks, maybe even the last month of school. The master teachers say they also appreciate having a second person in the room to help with COVID precautions, making sure the students stay safe during the pandemic. COVID precautions are in place outside the classroom, too, with the school custodian busier than ever. Every piece of playground equipment that a student touches has to be disinfected in between uses. So every recess area, the lunch, lunch and recess seem to be the larger areas of concern. Students are walking in hand sanitizing every single time they enter and, you know, come out of the classroom. There's hand sanitizer, plenty of hand sanitizer for them. You know, they had to relearn what does recess time look like? What does, um, you know, free time look like as far as like at school? And the kids in masks, I mean, I think at first we were all really anxious, but they came back and they're all wearing them. They're all, you know, complying with the rules and keeping their distance. I think they're really happy to be back with each other, as am I. So I'm impressed with the way they've handled themselves, rescue. most rescue. definitely. Ripon Unified ended up going to in-person instruction after about a month of remote learning. Many of the other teacher residents in the program remain online at other districts. But the organizers of the program and the would-be teachers never considered skipping the year because of COVID. In fact, 
They say it may be more important now than ever. Everything is just kind of shifting where you just have this sense that things are going to start to be maybe changing in the future. And um, I feel like having a, a resident work with a master teacher where they're figuring this all out and what this all looks like, it's, it's really just training this next generation of teachers to be flexible and accommodating. It's gonna take them like wherever, whatever direction education goes in. Honestly, my mantra has been to try to keep things as normal as we possibly can through, through COVID. So we have to continue this pipeline for teachers if we're going to have such a shortage in the future. So we have to continue to keep things moving forward. And for us, we look forward to hiring some of these well-prepared teachers for our program.